Hello again, and welcome back to the site. Uh, this morning we had Delta Airlines reporting earnings. They reported good earnings. They uh, beat by six cents a share, roughly uh, four to five percent over what analysts had expected. And you know, Delta has uh, really rebounded over the last few years. Uh, this was an airline stock that, with the entire industry, was in bankruptcy. Uh, during the last economic cycle and uh, you know Delta even during this economic cycle was really struggling with their balance sheet in terms of leverage and I'll show you that quickly uh, the company finally picking up stockholder equity a little over a year ago and as a result this charts a little messy I'm not even uh, really going to acknowledge that because uh, really what's important here is that the company is, is getting a much healthier financial footing. The other thing that really is to note here is the airline industry is doing well, and Delta is sort of at the forefront of it. Their trailing 12-month revenue is consistently growing, and with it they have uh, you know more operating cash flow, more capital to uh, invest in the business itself, which – which will help. You know, capital is a good thing in the airline industry because it's really about customer service. The airlines with the best customer service tend to perform the best, and investing capital into uh, you know newer planes, etc., tends to help. Personally, I do fly Delta Airlines, and I, I really enjoy uh, the service that they deliver, and and it's evident as a customer of Delta Airlines that you are experiencing a company that is definitely on the up and up. Now, Delta, interestingly enough, going forward, uh, has a little bit of an earnings slog projected in, in the next 12 months forward earnings. I actually don't know what's causing that. I've researched sort of uh, their quarter-by-quarter quarter estimates and their year-over-year year estimates, and I'm kind of getting two different stories. I believe the year-over-year -year side and that earnings are going to continue to grow and that we're going to see something closer to a $5.50 uh, earnings per share by early 2017 in terms of a 12-month earnings. And with that being said, looking at the price, you know, that's only uh, eight times those earnings. And so Delta Airlines is still priced pretty cheaply despite the run-up it's had and you can't look back further than 12 months here but it, it not that long ago it was under $30 a share it's taken quite a break over the last six months and really some of this too is digesting what lower fuel prices mean to airlines because if you'll recall airlines engaged in hedging of uh, fuel prices when they were going up which was good when we got some earnings reports to show how how the airlines had handled it, but there's a little bit of uncertainty there, and I think Delta is going to be just fine. This is a stock I, I quite frankly see in or around the $60 mark uh, come the end of next year. I think that they're going to continue to grow revenue, they're going to continue to invest capital back into the business, and the airline industry itself is going to continue to remain healthy with the economy. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Have a great day.